Gukesh is turning the chess olympiad into his playground. He is setting all of the boards on fire and he is doing so with great success. He is 4 for 4 in the first half of the olympiad playing at a performance level of 3400. Compare that to Ding Loren, the world champion defender in the upcoming world championship match, who's 2 out of 4 playing at a significantly lower performance of 2600. Now, does this have any indication of what to expect in the coming World Championship match? Who knows? But what I do know is that he is playing unbelievable chess. And just take a look at the most recent game. And I'll just quickly show this. Knight to h5 was played bad move, allowing the tactical shot knight takes e5. Noting the pressure on f7, noting the pressure on the knight, and it is Black's king who comes under fire. After knight takes g3, bishop takes f7, the king is forced to move away, and knight g6 hitting the king, hitting the rook. Now in this position, if black takes the bishop, then they are hit with knight takes h8, the rook with check. They probably should have done this anyways, because at some point they're gonna have to take the bishop anyways. Instead, they move the king, but nonetheless, they have to take the bishop, like I said. And after these tactical moves, we get this resulting position with a major material imbalance but that's not what matters whatsoever. It is the unsafe nature of this king sitting on f7 that is going to be decisive. And here, white simply needs to castle, bring their rook into the game. So they play d4 to allow that to happen on the very next move. And after castles, the rook is coming in. The queen comes in as well. We have a trade of one pair of rooks. And look at how juicy this f file is. But after queen e7, to black's credit, there is no entry point. So what does Gukesh do? Look at how simple he makes chess look. He simply involves his final piece. This knight is coming to the most active and lucrative square that it can come to, f5. Very slowly, but very surely, the knight maneuvers in. And after this trade, you don't take with the queen. The queen looks dominant, but there's, again, no entry point. You take with the pawn, bringing new energy into the game. Ideas of f6 check are always hanging. And further, now there's this e-file. Uh, from which white can infiltrate, and that is exactly what happens. The queen and the rook both shuffle to the e-file, and again, it is the black king that simply ends up uh, finding uh, themselves in a very difficult situation, and here, black resigned. Look at how easy that game seemed. So who knows? First of all, is this indicative of what we are going to see in the second half of the chess Olympiad? And if so, and if not as well, what does this tell us about the shape of the two world championship players in the upcoming match later this year. Let me know your thoughts down below. All I know for certain is that Gukesh is playing unbelievable chess and Ding Loren might not be at his top form currently. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here, like the video. If you learned something from it, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.